Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about finding equations of parabolas. Recall the general form of the equation of a parabola to be a second degree polynomial in two variables that is ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 or ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 where a, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. Also, remember that the equation of the parabola in a standard form is given by x minus h quantity squared equals 4p quantity y minus k or y minus k quantity squared equals 4p quantity x minus h, where 4p is the length of the lattice rectum and p is the distance of the vertex from the directrix and from the focus. In determining the equation of a parabola, it is very important to find the vertex value of P and the opening. Once you have determined this, you may simply substitute them to the standard form of the equation of the parabola. Let us have some example. Find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at 3, 2 and with directrix y equals 5. If it is needed, you may graph the given to easily visualize the problem. Since you were given the vertex which is at 3, 2 and the directrix to be the line y equals 5, looking at the illustration of the given, remember that the distance between the vertex and the directrix is p units. Therefore, since the distance between the vertex and the directrix is 3 units, therefore, we can say that P is equal to 3. Moreover, remember that the directrix is outside the parabola. Thus, given this as your vertex and this as your directrix, it only implies that the parabola opens downward. Likewise, since the parabola opens downward, the standard form of the equation that we need to use is x minus h quantity squared equals negative 4p quantity y minus k. Substitute the values of h, k, and p to this equation. Since our vertex is at 3, 2, then h is equal to 3, k is equal to 2. And from the illustration, we have seen that P equals 3. So when we substitute these values to this standard form, we will have x minus 3 quantity squared equals negative 4 times 3 quantity y minus 2. Simplify negative 4 times 3. So you will have x minus 3 quantity squared equals negative 12 quantity y minus 2. This is the equation of the parabola in standard form. Rewriting the equation x minus 3 quantity squared equals negative 12 quantity y minus 2 in general form we need to expand the square of the binomial and multiply negative 12 to the binomial y minus 2. Therefore, you will have x minus 3 times another x minus 3 equals negative 12y plus 24. Next thing to do, simplify the left side of the equation. So you will have x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals negative 12y plus 24. From here, what you need to do next is to isolate all the terms to the left side of the equation. Therefore, we will have x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 12y minus 24 equals 0. Then, we simply rewrite or rearrange the terms here and simplify the constants. Therefore, you will have x squared minus 6x 
plus 12y minus 15 equals 0. This is the equation of the parabola in general form. Let us have another example. Find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at negative 3, comma negative 2 with vertical axis of symmetry and passes through 7, comma 3. Again, we can illustrate first the given so we can analyze the parabola. The vertex is at negative 3, comma negative 2 with vertical axis of symmetry. So therefore, this would be our axis of symmetry and passes through the point 7, 3. Since the axis of symmetry is vertical, then it implies that the parabola either opens upward or downward. But since the parabola passes through 7, 3, it means that the parabola opens upward. Thus, we will use the form x minus h quantity squared equals 4p quantity y minus k. Moreover, to find the value of p, we will substitute the vertex negative 3 comma negative 2 with h equals negative 3 and k equals negative 2 to this form. Also, we will be substituting the given point 7, 3, wherein x equals 7 and y equals 3. Therefore, we will have 7 plus 3 quantity squared equals 4p quantity 3 plus 2. From here, we can now solve for the value of p. Remember that we need to solve for the value of p using this equation. 7 plus 3 quantity squared equals 4p quantity 3 plus 2. So let's simplify this. We will have 10 squared equals 4p times 5. Then we will have 100 equals 20p. So therefore, p equals 5. From here, since p is equal to 5 and h is equal to negative 3 and k is equal to negative 2, then the equation in standard form is given as x plus 3 quantity squared equals 4 times 5 quantity y plus 2. Finally, simplify 4 times 5. We will have x plus 3 quantity squared equals 20 times y plus 2. So once again, this is our equation in standard form. Rewriting this equation in standard form to general form, once again, what we need to do first is to expand the left side of the equation and distribute or multiply 20 to the binomial y plus 2. Therefore, we will have x plus 3 times another x plus 3 equals 20y plus 40. Simplify this side we will have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 20y plus 40. Next, isolate all terms to the left side of our equation. We will have x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 20y minus 40 equals 0. Then, let us combine positive 9 and negative 40 and rearrange the terms. So, we will have x squared plus 6x minus 20y minus 31 equals 0. So this is the equation of our parabola in general form. 
I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about ellipse. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.